All right, hey guys, 8 by Brian here, and I am back once again with my flea market and thrift store pickups for the month of March. Now, this was right um, in the early parts of March with everything going on with the coronavirus now. Once again, I want to say I hope all you guys are staying safe. Please stay home. Um, don't put yourself at unnecessary risk. Uh, myself, I'm an essential employee, so that's another reason why, like, my Tour Review Thursday videos haven't been coming out as regularly as they used to. Um, I'm just really tired, doing a lot more work than usual, and I really don't have the energy to do one when I'm getting home late at night. So I'm trying to get back into a habit, because I know I kind of teased with that one a little bit ago, and I am trying to bring them back slowly, but none of us expected this craziness in 2020. So without any further ado, definitely I want to say up front, Stay safe, guys. Stay home. Stay healthy. Practice social dis distancing and help slow the spread of this terrible, terrible virus and disease. Um, so like I was saying before, these are all my pickups from thrift stores and flea markets before PA did the statewide shutdown. So this was like uh, maybe the first week or two in March because it wasn't until like the next week after, like, I think after the 14th or the 15th, um, or it was like that following Monday, maybe the 17th, that's when they shut everything down. So, um, yeah, like, I'm not, obviously, there's no flea markets out. Anything I'm getting now for my next video for April is all coming off of eBay. So, you know, don't want you guys to think, like, hey, I'm running around out there and buying stuff. This is all stuff from March before they locked everything down. So, you know, I'm doing my part. You guys do your part, and definitely stay safe. So that little public service announcement <laughs> out of the way, let's get right into uh, my pickups for the month of March. Um, now, there's definitely not as much stuff as I usually would have picked up, but there's still a good amount of stuff, actually a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I picked up some comics that I hadn't picked up in a while, so we'll start off with miscellaneous, hadn't really been buying comics recently. Um, this is one of my most interesting ones that I've found. Believe it or not, I paid 15 bucks for this, which sounds crazy, but apparently this is a really rare Thundercats um, comic, and the reason is is because it's the next-to-last comic in the Marvel series, and also what's different is it's not a Star comic. This is actually a Marvel comic, so it's not like how Marvel used to have comics with the star logo. This is actually a Marvel licensed comic. So, and it's with the uh, with the thund Thunder Kittens and there's like a pair of like robot uh, Thunder Kitten imposters made by Mumra and stuff. So, pretty cool. And then the rest I only I got for like maybe, you know, a couple of bucks, like 5 bucks. Um Another um, Eastman and Lard comic. This is when they did um, all the separate turtles. So this is Leonardo in the black and white style, which is really nice. Love all that type of artwork. Um, this is an amazing Spider-Man that I think I paid five bucks, eight bucks. Got it really cheap. Um, number 68, Crisis on Campus, which is actually a pretty key issue because it um, focuses on like the civil rights movement, so there's a lot of um, a lot of heavy issues in there, and just a really cool comic. Has that nasty kind of tear on the front where it's missing, but other than that, I mean, it's still a nice shape, and it's hard to find vintage, amazing Spider-Man comics like reasonably at all, or just at all. Um, and this one I found, which was really neat. This is a Dark Horse comic, and it's just so campy. Um, it's Boris the Bear, where walks the dump thing, so it's like a play on, like, the swamp thing, and you got, like, this little bear, like, holding a baseball bat, like, little serial killer teddy bear, so that's really cool. Just love that freaking art on the front, so neat. And then in the same vein, too, I think I picked up for a dollar or two, um, a Ghostbusters 2 coloring book. Very cool. 
I think some of the pages have already been colored in. Let's see if we can find some good ones. Oh, there you go. Vigo the Carpathian. Like the main villain and the villain in the painting. Yeah, the villain, right, the villain. I can talk today. And you got the Statue of Liberty where it came to life. Really cool. I know a lot of people aren't huge fans of Ghostbusters 2, but it's an it's an okay movie. It's not that bad. Hell of a lot better than that 2016 crap that came out a few years ago. Um, also miscellaneous, I got a whole bunch of Star Wars cards, like crazy cheap. I think I maybe got like five bucks for the whole lot, or like three bucks. And um, probably well over a hundred, but I got ones from uh, Return of the Jedi. And there's about 70 or so in there. And then Empire Strike Backs, uh, The Empire Strikes Back, I told you I could talk today, um, Series 1 and Series 2. And I already have a lot of original Star Wars um, trading cards. And then what else is cool, too, in there, check this out. Uh, you got, like, all the star files, There's, like, Vader, 3PO... Boba Fett, Yoda, and I had some stickers too, but I don't know where they went. And there's also this really weird, it was just in there too, it's an R2-D2 um, Kellogg cereal trading cards. That's pretty neat, if you would have gotten that inside a box of cereal. Pretty cool. Um, also miscellaneous, I picked this up. At uh, the big kids store when I was there a while ago, before all this happened, this little staff and the little figure I've already had before, and we seem to think that it's a battle beast weapon, but maybe a knockoff battle beast weapon because I can't find a number on it. So of course I paired it with this little, like Mexican knockoff battle beast that I found. A few years ago at RetroCon, and I think it looks really neat. And this guy's definitely one of a kind. I've never seen a knockoff Mexican or Brazilian bootleg Battle Beast before, ever. Um, like, you have the Greek ones and stuff, but I've never seen one like that with the, like, the gold and the silver paint. That's how you can always tell they're, they're like, South American type of knockoffs. Um, uh, also found some Transformer stuff, and these were, like, only, a, I think a dollar each, which is amazing, so I go in other stores, and I see them for, like, eight or fifteen bucks, so I got, I've been wanting this for a while, this completes, I think, maybe aside from Wheeljack, completes my Transformers Eraser collection, you got Soundwave, which looks really great, so for a dollar, that's super crazy cheap, and I have a bunch of these, a uh, little Megatron pencil topper. I always pick them up, though. I think they're neat. And then, I think for five bucks, he's a little rough, but uh, overall in good shape. A G2 Sea Spray. You can always tell G2 stuff, because they were all about chrome. Which is weird, but it kind of looks good, I guess. And then in the same vein, for like two bucks, I picked up this Zoids, like, spider. And he's missing the battery back. Um, the little light does turn on. Don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Don't know if you guys will be able to see that or not. But I can't get him to walk, so I want to see if I can replace the motor. Because the motor's totally dead. But at least that works. He just looks cool, like the pincers are supposed to move and stuff when he walks, but, you know, they're old toys, what are you going to do? Uh, also picked up a couple of Joes, even though you guys know I'm not that big of a Joe fan. Um, 
I'm totally not that big of a Joe fan because I forget this dude's name. <laughs> sure, one of you guys can tell me down in the, the comments. And then uh, one of the twins, I can't remember their names either. But I know like their names are spelled the same way, like forwards and backwards, and one has the scar over their eye or something or on their face. And I always thought they were cool figures, so. I don't have both of them, but now I got one of them. Um, then this was also cool for like five or six bucks. I picked up a whole lot of like vintage Care Bears. So we got some of the big ones. We got Sleepy Time Bear. And then I think this is Love a Lot Bear or Tender Heart Bear. I get them confused because a lot of them have the hearts on them. But you got that one there. And then you got Funshine Bear, which he was always really cool. Always in a good mood. And then a lot of the little, um, a lot of the little, little uh, PVC bears. And I think this was Cheer Bear. And then you have, oh man, I cannot remember. This guy's like holding candy and has a milkshake on his stomach. I don't know what the hell he's called. <laughs> milkshake bear? Who knows? I don't know. Um, then there's a star coming out of a heart with like this little baby care bear. Probably Starshine or something stupid like that. And then a couple of the care bear's cousins. I can't even see what this is. Looks like it's a wearing a party hat, so you got like a monkey. He's kind of neat. And then you got this little rabbit. See, like they all have hearts on him. He's got a heart with wings. So who the hell knows what he's called, but he's on a skateboard. But they're kind of neat. I remember the cloud car in like the city. Like, one of my friends had that when I was in elementary school as a kid. And I just always think they're neat. They're really brightly colored and stuff. They're cool. And then a couple of snorks. Orange dude with the ice cream. And, like, I don't remember their name. I just know them as Snork. And I think this guy is a double. I already have one of him. He was, like, one of the main characters. So we got him. And then for only four bucks each, I picked up the, I got the whole set of these. You guys know how I love my muscle figures. Um, the Street Sharks muscle figures. These things are awesome. So hopefully I'll carefully open them up and do a review of them coming up soon. So in this one you got, let's see. Uh, this has Slash, Streaks, and Big Slamu in this pack. Oh, and they're not awesome. They're jawsome. Excuse me. My mistake. And then you got the other pack. There's only six of them. Unless they've come out with more recently since I picked these up. I don't know. And then this one, you got Ripster, Dr. Piranoid, and Jad. They did a really good job with Dr. Piranoid, too. With Dr. Piranoid, too. He looks really great. Very cool. And also some neat stuff. I picked up this I think for like two dollars, which is amazing. This Arco the Other World, um, like Condor, like winged beast or griffin or whatever it is, and like the wings you can pose the wings in different positions and stuff, and it's just really beautiful, it has that awesome Dungeons and Dragons look to it. And I mean, come on, who's going to pass this up for two bucks? That thing's beautiful. It's just a nice display piece. Really nice. And then these I got at a local um, toy store that I go to a lot in South Jersey, right before everything got shut down. Um, I didn't expect these because you always see like the remakes of these, which are really cool. Um, but I actually love the original Kenner series better. And that's the Batman the Animated Series figures. And these were really, really reasonable. I think I maybe paid 20 or 30 bucks for the whole set. 
Um, I mean, I don't have the whole set, but the whole set I'm going to show here, and they, they're all totally complete. So you got uh, Mr. Freeze, Victor Freeze, with his freeze gun, and backpack, and the helmet, and just, just, just look at that. That is the... That's what Mr. Freeze is supposed to look like, with that perfect dome and the blue and gray outfit. I mean, this looks better than the new figures that they're coming out with. These things are just dead on what they're supposed to look like from the cartoon show. And then you got Killer Croc. He's carrying around a crocodile for some reason. Look at the face, man. That just looks... It, it's so perfect. Like, you expect them to start talking. They look so good. It's crazy. And then you got Clayface. She's got his one hand as a claw, and the other hand as a mace. Looks really amazing. And you got the Riddler. He looks really good, except he has this silly question mark gun. But if you take that away, like he just looks great as a Riddler by himself. Awesome. A little cane and everything. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And then, of course, the Joker. I think I already have another Joker for this series, but I didn't have this one. And he's got his laughing gas backpack and sprayer. And he's even wearing the gas mask. I would take his gas mask off, but it's really hard to get back on, so I'm not going to, unfortunately. But yeah, like those five figures for like 30 bucks with all their accessories, that's a good deal. I was very, very happy with that. Um, also found some unexpected stuff, some Rainbow Bright stuff. So it was a weird month, like Care Bears, Rainbow Bright, a lot of unusual stuff to pick up. Um, you got the Rainbow Bright Pup, which I already have one of, but, you know, I can sell my sell my double. And he's in really nice, really nice shape. Very, very clean. Very clean. And then Super Rare, which I could not believe I found this. I don't even remember the name of it, but the Rainbow Bright Unicorn? I'm like, wow. Um, I want to say this is Starfire? I honestly cannot remember. I, I did know the name, but now Gemfire? I'm sure one of you guys will be able to tell me. I, I looked it up, but I can't remember now. And yeah, this this un, this this um, unicorn, or, well not unicorn, I guess there's no horn, but Rainbow Bright's horse really, really rare. Like, this doll goes for, like, 50 to $75. Very, very, very uncommon to see. So, really cool. And then these almost made it into my find of the month, but I got two other things that are pretty close, I think. I found this really cool knockoff Mad Ball for, uh, only like two or three dollars. I think it's called an oddball, I'm pretty sure. That's the series it was in. Very nice. And then also I picked this up at the big kid store for only 20 bucks, which is a steal. Well, 22 bucks. <laughs> Still, it's a really good deal. Uh, an original Mad Ball Screaming Mimi. That's freaking awesome. Very cheap. So, my Mad Balls collection is almost 100% complete at this point. And that is going to bring me to my finds of the month. So, my runner up find of the month, and I'm only kind of including this just because I think it's really weird and one of the weirdest things that I've ever found. Just totally not what I collect, but it's still in the vintage toy kind of era. And that is a vintage Red Rider BB gun. So check this out. I, I, I It's very hard to date these. I think this is from the 70s from my best research. Like it's missing a few things like the leather ring, the metal ring and the leather piece that went off of there. 
and there should be a band that goes around the stock here. Um, but yeah, just, just a very unusual thing to find, to find like an old vintage BB gun. And you know, from a Christmas story, who, who doesn't remember that? You know, oh, you'll shoot your eye out. So definitely iconic and very cool. And this was like uh, 15 bucks, so I thought that was a good deal. And I just really like the logo. So pretty neat. I think that's cool. <clears throat> and then without a doubt, my find of the month, um, because you guys know me and obviously know my channel. I love Motu. If there's one thing I love, it's Masters of the Universe. And for 20 bucks, I didn't even argue on the price. I found this awesome Masters of the Universe TV tray. And oh my god, just look at that art. You got He-Man, Punch, and Skeletor with the Crash logo above him and his swords going flying. And Teela and Man-at-Arms and Stratos fighting Beast Man with Castle Skull in the background. And I'm like, wow. That is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, yes, yeah, super, super happy with that find, and no doubt that's going to be my find of the month. Absolutely no doubt. Totally cool. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for my uh, flea market and thrift store pickups for the month of March. Um, unfortunately, I will have a video up for April, but it won't be anywhere near as long as this because, as you guys know, everything's closed. So it'll be uh, my eBay pickups for April, <laughs> and uh, it'll it'll be really short, really short, because nothing's open. I can't go anywhere. I'm at home all the time when I'm not at work, so uh, look out for that. I mean, I'd be surprised if it'll be a five-minute video. <laughs> going to be very, very short. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for staying tuned. Um, definitely stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, guys, make sure to post your photos and um, stories of everything that you, know, you picked up before this whole crazy pandemic thing happened or what you can't wait to do when things reopen. What are you looking for to find? You know, What's going to be your first store or flea market you're going to go to? And just comment down below. Until then, guys, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Hey, guys, if you liked the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.